What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. Today's video is going to be all about hitting the director mode online glitch without actually needing save wizard. All right. So if you guys have noticed, I haven't really posted much in the last week and uh, that's just because there hasn't been much to post, but this was something that was highly requested uh, for those of you that don't want to spend $60 on save wizard to be able to hit this glitch. There is a way to do it without save wizard and this method I can guarantee works for PS4. Xbox can try it, but I'm not guaranteeing anything for Xbox, and I'll tell you why once we get to that certain point in the video. Uh, it's at the part where we would, you know, normally suspend app on PS4. But anyways, why would you want director mode online? Here's some things to think about. It's like having a mod menu online, all right? You can have god mode, teleport, you can even get the beast abilities, you have unlimited ammo, you can change the weather to snow, and uh, you can even have props online. So you can build props and scenes in sessions and carry them into over sessions if you'd like to, okay? So that's what you can do with this glitch. If you're still interested, then this is what you're gonna need to do it, all right? You're gonna need a certain save point that I'm gonna go over here in a little bit. Uh, in story mode in GTA, okay? So you need to get to that save point. You also need a friend in an invite job. I'll explain what the friend's doing once we get to that point. And uh, yeah, so if you do want to save stuff from this glitch, you'd have to use something like Netcut, okay? And I'll explain that once we get to that point as well. But anyways, these are the missions that I had to complete. Fame or Shame is pretty much the last mission. Once you've completed Fame or Shame, uh, which is when Trevor comes there and meets Michael for the first time in a long time, you'll get this mission right here, this Trevor mission over there by the beach, all right, and by the pier. Once you get that one, you can go ahead and make a game save. Okay, make a game save, and that's the mission point that you should be at. Now, once you've done that, you're ready to hit the glitch, you wanna head online, make sure your spawn location is set to last location or random, just somewhere outside, not in an interior. Uh, force a game save and head back to story mode. Now, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an option here to do this. This is to save yourself from dying. All you gotta do is fill up your short list, okay? So fill up your short list in the DM trailer once you get back to story mode. And what you see in the top right is my friend. My friend's getting ready to help me with the glitch, going into a titan of a job while in an invite only session. Okay, that's what you see in the top right once you filled up your short list in, D in the DM trailer You should get that alert Just go ahead and quit back to story and make a game save and that's it. You never have to do that part again Okay, that will be to save yourself from dying later. Trust me. It's very handy now at this point I'm gonna go ahead and input the cheat here to get cops I'll leave the cheat code down in the description and we should get one star here right when your hands go up You want to go ahead and press pause head over to the online tab and hover over choose character Now while you're hovering over choose character you want to go to the settings network and go ahead and disconnect the internet You should have a menu under a menu hover over choose character Reconnect and the name of the game here is to actually spam on choose character right when you come back and it lets you actually, you know, spam on it to, to, you know, to actually press the buttons. And for that to happen, you need to let it reconnect. So what I'm doing here is just doing a series of disconnects and reconnects just to kind of lag it out a little bit. This is where I hit it. So I'm going to hover over choose character, disconnect, make sure I'm still hovering. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect and then spam X twice right when it lets me. And you should get this alert. Rockstar game services are unavailable right now. Now, if you've gotten that alert, you've gotten to this point successfully, what you wanna do is head over to the party and you wanna rejoin your friend. Now, you've already disconnected, reconnected a bunch, but yeah, so this is why you need to rejoin the party. So rejoin the party, go ahead and join your friend that's in that invite-only job, and you wanna sit on this alert anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, okay? Now, sit on this alert for 10 to 15 seconds just so that the join alert pops up in the background. Now, what you wanna eventually do is, once you're sure that alert's in the background, hit X or A to continue, and then ignore that second alert. It should just go away, and you should hit a black screen like this. Once you're on the black screen, go back to the party, join your friend, accept the first alert. You'll get a private alert and accept that one as well. Now you should be joining GT Online, okay? So in the top right, what your friend is now doing is sending you an invite through the party, okay? That's all your friend is doing. Your friend's still in that same job, just sending you an invite through the party. Once you get the notification, you can go ahead and actually accept this. Now, I don't like accepting it through there so I'm just gonna wait and go to my notifications just like this and then hit join now once you've hit join you should be getting an alert okay so that's the join alert to join your friend that's in that job now we need this alert to pop up once we get down on the ground so we're not gonna accept this or anything we're just gonna let this alert be and it should go off on its own just like that 
Now that the alert is is away, it'll come back. Don't worry. Once we spawn in. So at this point, you're just waiting. You should see kind of semi looking 2D graphics when you're looking down. Uh, if you've gotten to this point, you know you've basically hit it. But you just need to get past this last part. This is the only part that can be a little bit inconsistent as well. Uh, that could cause the glitch to actually get ruined. But I'm just fast forwarding here, and eventually you'll see that we'll spawn down. It does take a little bit of time, so please be patient. But uh, yeah, once it spawns you down, just like this, you want to go ahead and start spamming X or A once you get really close to the ground, okay? And you'll see what I mean, because that alert's going to pop up, all right? And you don't want to miss it or else you'll get kicked back to story. So we're just waiting here, and then it'll spawn me fully down here. The alert should pop up, and I'm going to accept it really quick. You see that? If you don't get the split, you're good. You'll go into that job. Now, if you're too late on that alert, or it just like sometimes doesn't want to pop up for some reason, you will get kicked back to story, okay? I suggest reloading your game save and starting over from the beginning, okay? That's what I'd recommend. But if you've successfully done it, you should be now joining into that job that your friend sent you the invite to. Okay, so I'm just going to show you right here in real time how long it actually takes. Uh, I like to wait until I'm fully joined in and then tell my friend or my friend can actually see when I'm fully joined. But that's when I like the friend to actually back out of the job. So you see, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to say that I'm fully, fully joined in on his screen, which is in the top right. Once I'm fully joined in, the friend can quit the job. And what you want your friend to do after quitting the job is to go ahead and actually start up a new one. Okay, so just press pause, go to online tab, jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and start up a Titan of a job once again, and your friend just sits there. That's it. That's all your friend needs to do. Now, what you're doing is you're hovering over play on this job, and I want you to go over to the old notification that we used to join when we were up in the clouds. We're going to be using that one again. So I'm going to hit join, and then I'm going to quickly double tap X to actually play and go into the job. So here we go. I'm going to hit join, and then I'm going to play and go into the job. I should get an alert here soon. Tell my friend to back out. Once your friend has backed out of the job, your friend tells you and you accept that first alert. You should get an unable to connect. Just simply accept that alert again and you're good to go. At this point, you have stopped yourself from splitting, going into an online session. Now the next session we go into, we won't split so we won't get kicked back to story. Okay? So that is really the hard part of this glitch done. Now, we're still not fully done yet with it. That's just hitting the SPMP. As you guys can see, you have to hit the SPMP first to be able to get director mode online. All right. And that'll all make sense here when you see the direction we're going in. So these are the new steps. You've already hit SPMP. You could go into a job right now, which is what we're going to do. Just go ahead and launch Titan of a job. And this will allow us to actually switch characters. OK, because if we switch characters while we're in an, on uh, in an online session, Session, we will get kicked back to story with that alert. But if we go ahead and go into Titan of a job like you see me doing here, fully launch into it, we'll be able to switch characters and not get kicked. Okay. So you're going to see here why we needed that specific mission. This is where it comes into play. Now, once you're in the Titan of a job, you want to simply switch over to, to Trevor and decline that alert. Decline that alert that pops up and it should spawn you up and down. Sometimes you'll hit a black screen that's due to any sort of story mode animation. That's OK. Just be patient and wait and you should spawn in as Trevor. Now that we're here as Trevor, we want to go over to that mission location. Remember, I showed you over by the pier, by the beach, that T. That is the Trevor mission that we want to start, okay? So once you've reached that Trevor mission, you just want to activate it. Now, it's going to activate a little weird. It's not as responsive as you are fully in story mode since we're actually online. But this mission right here carries over into online. That's why you still see it. OK, so that's a these are specific missions that do carry over online. And uh, you want to just walk up to the door here and just sit, just stand there. OK, and if you just stand there for a few seconds, eventually the cutscene will start. OK, now, unfortunately, you can't skip this cutscene, so you do have to watch it, but it's just a few minutes long. Not that big a deal. Once you've gotten through the cutscene, you should be at this part right here. OK, and the reason why this is a good mission as well to bring on is because it's very easy to fail. All right. So go ahead and get to your vehicle. If you have a motorcycle, that actually would be better. But uh, the point is you want to get away from Wade. All right. So you see Wade had got, gotten in the car with me there. I kicked him out and now I'm just going to leave and I'm going to leave Wade back over there and you should get job failed. OK, so once you go away far enough, boom, there we go. All right. So I have job failed. That is what you need. 
Here is the part where it's very different for both consoles. Now on PS4, we can simply suspend app and continue and everything will be fine, except you can't save stuff. So if you plan on going to the trailer to go save outfits, that won't work. At this point, if you do want to try and save stuff, you need to be using Netcut, okay? A lag switch, a hotspot, something like that to kick you back to story the same way suspend does, okay? But suspend stops you from saving. Now, I'm gonna do suspend in this video because it's the simplest way, but just so you know, when you suspend, don't expect to save anything. This is just to basically bring on the DM menu online and be able to have fun with it, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and suspend. I'm gonna use Spotify and a suspend app. Now on Xbox, since you guys don't have suspend, you would have to either lag out or get kicked, okay? And the way you get kicked is idling out, something like that. Anyways, once you spawn back in, you should be Trevor without a mini map. Open up your interaction menu and go to director mode. Okay, so if you try to lag out and you spawn out and you still have all your stuff like you're online, it didn't work, all right? You're gonna have to start over. But uh, if you've done it right, you've suspended like you see me doing here, go over to your GTA Online character one once you're in the trailer and that's how you wanna leave, okay? Always leave the trailer by hitting GTA Online one or two, whatever character you are using uh, to go online. So you should be here with DM in the top right corner. At this point, go to the online tab and just hit join friends, okay? You should get this. Are you sure you wanna exit director mode? Don't accept that. Simply decline it. You might have to spam circle or you know, or be a little bit, but you will eventually get it. And uh, you should have DM in the top right corner while you're about to load online. And uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. That's how you bring it online with a mission instead of having save wizard. Is it a little bit more work? Sure, it is, but the best glitch in the game is isn't gonna come easy, okay? It's not like back in the day when these glitches were very easily accessible. They're not like that. Lots of patches, uh, makes them very diff difficult to find and do. But as you can see, this is it. We've have the menu online. I'm going ahead and I'm changing stuff, change the weather. I've put invincibility on, which is God mode, uh, disable cops so you don't have cops, all that good stuff, okay? The explosive bullets, flaming bullets, I wouldn't touch that. Uh, if you guys wanna learn more about the DM menu and what you can do with it, I'll leave all my related videos and a link down in the pinned comment as well as the description. But at this point, I'm actually gonna show you what to do if you die. Cause a lot of people were trying to figure out what happens if you die. Cause it can happen if you forget to turn on invincibility or anything like that. So if you do happen to die, since we exited with GTA Online character one, that's what we should be hovering over. So once you get here, you just wanna simply hit Y or triangle. Once you've hit Y or triangle, your shortlist is full. So you should get that alert. Simply declined that alert, but before you do, you wanna suspend app. Okay, so suspend app right here to get the kickback to story. While we're on this alert, now you can decline the alert. And then now you should have an invisible menu. Just hit X or A to go back into DM. And now that we're gonna spawn back into DM, just like this, we're in story mode, as you can see, but at the bottom left with the yellow bar. And uh, go ahead and just head to online, and now you can go into an invite-only session, just like that, okay? Or join friends if you want, and you can do it that way as well. Uh, I'd suggest using whatever works most consistently for you. And then you get back online just like that with DM and you don't lose it. You don't have to do the glitch over again. I thought that I would show that since I don't think that's uh, really known that much about this glitch. But that is the very simple way to fix it once you've died. That's why I recommended you create and put a bunch of people in the short list to make it full in the beginning of the video while I was in the trailer. Okay, so uh, yeah, we've covered a lot today, guys. Uh, this is how you hit it on PS4 for sure without save wizard uh, xbox can definitely attempt this but i can't guarantee xbox just because i haven't tried this method yet on there but uh yeah suspending is the big one okay xbox can do everything up until the suspend point which is where you would have to try to either lag out or get you know kicked from the session for idling which you can do really quickly uh, on xbox so experiment with that and uh, that's how you would do it over there guys so that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Uh, turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Please go follow me on Twitch. Go follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. Twitch will be where I do my future live streams. Twitter is where I update, put some you know information on uh, on what's going on with the channel and uh, some of my personal views. And also I will be having some accounts set up very soon for you guys. Just let me know and uh, yeah, let me know on Twitter and uh, I can get back to you guys on that. So peace out, have a good one.